Hi everyone and welcome back to another fun video. Today I'm going to showcase the latest release by my favorite things. So here's the box and I have inside everything that has been released. This is not a sponsored video, they didn't pay me to do this, but they do send me their products every month. So uh, I think it's a good opportunity for you to take a close-up look on all the products and hopefully this video is going to help you decide which are for you. So let's start with this one. This is called pop-up wiper card components. You get three dies, one that gives you a wave, another with a grass. And this little piece over here helps you to create pop-up cards. I'm going to show you an example on this video and you will see how these dies work together. And in this release they have another really unique die set. This is called Slider Surprise and it helps you create little uh, slider cards that you can hide underneath little sentiments or even a gift card. And I will be using this as well on this video so you will be able to see how that works as well. Now this is the Puppy Love Dynamics. You can cut out all the parts to create a little puppy. Use uh, colored cardstock to cut out all the pieces, white cardstock and color it in with your favorite mediums or even felt. They have a whole collection of these animals so maybe you want to check that out on their website. This is the Under the Sea Dynamics. It gives you bubbles, rocks, corals and seaweed as well as a big slope. You can use these dies to create uh, underwater scenes. If you have any fish at all on your stash, then you are good to go. But I'm going to show you a couple of uh, fish stamps that have been released this month as well. So let's take a look at uh, the stamps. This is a small stamp set which is called Well Hello. It has this lovely hello font as well as smaller sentiments that you can combine together. This is one of those stamp sets that if you get it you will be using it again and again because it is really versatile. They have also come up with these two dies that gives you the same hello in the same script as well as the shadow so you can combine both together. If you love big sentiments that make a statement on top of a card, this is uh, for you definitely. I love big sentiments over uh, stenciled backgrounds or backgrounds I have created with watercolor. I think it helps the background stand out even more. This is called Cute Cloud Outlines and it doesn't cut out only clouds, it also cut out a little border that you can use separately or together. If you like creating little scenes on your cards, then having a die set with clouds is um, a must-have since it gives that extra detail on your sky. Here is another big sentiment, thank you, in a lovely font script, perfect for all those cards where we want the focal point to be the actual sentiment. Our favorite girl is back this month and uh, the stamp set is called Hey Sunshine. She is on vacation and I absolutely love this stamp set. I will be using this on one of the cards that I will be sharing today. There are also matching dies available that don't come together with a stamp set. You have to get them separately. I just like to store everything together. If you like creating cute cards for your little friends, then this is a set perfect for you. It's called Fairy Good Friends. It comes with three little fairies in different uh, positions and lovely sentiments perfect for birthdays as well as friendship cards. And there are matching dies available if you want to pop up your images. This is the fish you were here stamp set. It comes with lots and lots of uh, fish as well as sentiments and matching dies available. There are little bubbles and you can also combine it with uh, this die set that I showed you earlier to create a lovely underwater scene. And they do have another ocean related stamp set in this release which I'm going to show you in a bit. But first let's take a look at those flowers. This is called Tropical Flowers. You get flowers as well as leaves and there are matching dies available. It's one of the layering stamp sets where you can stamp one on top of the other to create different effects, but of course you can use them separately. It is really forgiving. I will be using it on one of my cards today. And you will see that you don't even need to align these stamps one on top of the other. They are really forgiving. This is the Friends with Fins stamp set, again an ocean themed one and uh, there are matching dies available. There are uh, lovely creatures here. You will find a narwhal, a dolphin, a shark, a whale and uh, I'm going to show you the other one so you can compare the two together. They both give you sea creatures and sentiments to work with so you can easily create underwater scenes with any of those but uh, the last one has larger images so depending on what you like to do you can choose your favorite 
And last but not least, this is the Picnic Pulse stamp set, and there are matching dies available. It's one of the Stacy Yakula designs, which I absolutely adore, and MFT releases one stamp set every month. So this month you get three creatures, a tree, as well as a picnic basket and a watermelon. If you love creating little scenes and coloring in stamped images, then I'm sure you will absolutely love this one. Now I'm going to create three cards using uh, many of the products from this new release and you can see them in action. I'm starting out by applying some uh, Distress Oxide ink on my non-stick craft mat, I'm spraying some water and then on top I'm going to apply some watercolor paper. The colors I used here are tumbled grass and peacock feathers. So I have created a first layer, I'm going to make sure that this is completely dry and then I will go ahead and uh, dab this on top of all those splashes just for a more interesting look. I'm going to leave this aside to dry and then I'm going to cut it out to be slightly smaller than the standard card. Now I'm going to do some stamping, I will stamp my little girl with um, permanent ink so it's not going to smudge or smear since I'm planning to color it in with my alcohol markers. I'm not going to share the coloring since this is not the point of this video and it's going to turn super long so all I did was to use the matching dies to cut it out and I'm putting my card together. The sentiment also comes from the same stamp set and it says let your troubles float away which I'm going to stick on top of my card again with foam tape at the back. To embellish my card a little bit more I'm going to add some dots of glue, this is my Nouveau Deluxe glue here, and I'm going to stick on top some transparent bubbles. I then place this panel on top of a standard card that's 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half and here is my finished card. Moving on to the second card for today, I will be using the Slider Surprise Dynamics. So I'm separating the dies here and I'm going to cut out two pieces using the two dies. I cut out everything of white cardstock and once you cut it out you will see that there are two score lines in this bigger piece which I'm going to score with my bone folder and make sure that I have a nice crease. I have slowed down the speed of the video so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I have turned this at the back and at the bottom flap I have added some double sided tape. And I'm going to align that second piece with the flap at the bottom. So these two pieces are only connected at the very bottom and once I turn it on the other side you will be able to see pretty much how this mechanism is going to work. I'm going to show you how the mechanism comes together later on, so first I'm going to do some stamping and uh, create my focal points. All the stamps here come from the Tropical Flowers stamp set and I'm starting out by stamping the leaves. I'm using my MFT ink tubes in various colors and for the leaves I'm mixing up a darker and a lighter shade of green. Some of the images when they are quite big I do use my Misty to stamp them. For smaller ones I don't even bother and I go with a small stamping block. Now all the stamps have a marking so you know which one goes with which one for the layering and also they have a little arrow at the top so you know how to align them but I didn't even bother to align them, I just placed the center uh, on the flower and stabbed it. It doesn't really matter how you are going to place these flowers together and you can play and create even your own combinations. And here they are, all ready to go, leaves and flowers, I'm going to use the matching dies to cut them out and now I'm going to show you how to put the sliding mechanism together. So here are my two cutouts and remember that they are connected only at the very bottom flap. Now at the back I'm adding some thin uh, foam tape all around the frame, making sure that I don't go over the slider. So this uh, foam tape is really important because it's going to uh, create kind of a box for that slider to move up and down without uh, getting out of place. So I'm going to turn it around after I peel off the backing of course and stick it directly on top of my card base. And 
and I'm going to show you how this works. It's really easy to do, they are just two pieces connected together at the very bottom flap. Now underneath that slider you can even hide a little gift card, you can even stamp your sentiment, which is something that I'm going to do today, and of course you can decorate the front. As I stick my cutouts there to create a flower composition, I always keep in mind that this is a moving part and I don't want to block it in any way. For the flowers I went with foam tape at the back and now for the leaves I'm going with white glue. Now if you visit the YouTube channel by MFT you will find there a video by Stephanie. It's a really step-by-step uh, -step instruction video on how to put this slider card together and a completely different idea on how to decorate it. Now at the top you can stamp the word pull or like I'm doing here just to make it easier for the recipient to open it up. I made the mark with a pencil on where I want my hole to be. Now I'm using my crocodile to create the hole and I'm going to thread some ribbon. I'm going to use some white uh, thread to tie a little bow and this creates something for the recipient to hold on to while uh, moving the slider up and down. I'm going to stamp a little sentiment high, hidden underneath that flap that says from me to you. I'm stamping that with black ink and it comes from the well hello stamp set. So when you open it up you can see the little message revealed. You can leave the card as it is, but since I had this beautiful hello die, I just had to use that as well. And I'm going to combine uh, light yellow, which is the same cardstock as my card base. And I have also cut out the word hello out of white cardstock. I'm going to stick those pieces together. I'm going to add some glue at the back of the hello piece and stick it at the very bottom of my card, making sure that it doesn't block the slider. I love interactive cards and I hope this is going to put a smile on the recipient. I'm going to finish it off by adding some more embellishment. This is Nouveau Drops at the center of the flowers. I'm going to send this card to one of my Instagram followers. I will make a post there later on today where I'll give all the instructions. Here are some close-up photos on this interactive card. And now I will move on and create another interactive card with this unique die set. In this set you get three dies. One is a border of um, waves, the other one is a border of grass and you also get a little piece that is actually the pop-up mechanism. For this card today I will be using the waves. I will use two pieces of cardstock. The larger one is five and three quarters by five and a half. And I have a smaller one, the width is 5 and 3 quarters, and it doesn't matter how high it is, since I'm going to use the border die to cut out waves out of this. Now it is really important to have your width at 5 and 3 quarters if you want to end up into a standard card size. We are going to do some scoring, but I'm going to show you everything step by step. So here I'm working on the smaller piece. And with my blending tool I am applying some Distress Oxide ink. I'm going to combine two colors of Distress Oxides. This is Salty Ocean and I'm going to add a darker shade which is Faded Jeans. As always with my Distress Oxides I applied some uh, water splashes. I'm letting them for a few seconds to react with the ink and then I'm going to blot them with a clean paper towel. Now here are my two pieces and I'm going to do some score lines now. On the blue one I'm going to do two score lines on the left side, so here. And on the white one I'm going to do two score lines on the right side. I'm going to place first the blue paper on top of my scoring board to do the um, score lines on this side. And I have to score at three and a quarter and at one and a half. And of course I'm doing the scoring at the back since that was the only way I could um, neatly align it on my scoring board. And now on the white piece I need to score again at three and a quarter and at one and a half. Now I'm going to place them next to each other and show you where I have the folds. And I'm going to use my bone folder and make sure that I fold these really nicely. You need to create two Z folds on both those pieces and once you fold it you will see that this now is a standard card size so that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the blue piece. 
Once you fold this part, it's going to be four and a quarter in uh, width as well. And here is kind of a preview of how you are going to put those things together. So you know where I'm going for. Now there are two score lines on the pop-up mechanism which I'm going to uh, reinforce with my bone folder and uh, if you want step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to put these pop-up cards together you can also go to the MFT YouTube channel they have great instructions on how to put these cards together and how to use the dies and that's the instructions that I follow for creating my own card as well as the focal point for my card, I'm going with a whale and this comes from the French with fins stamp set. I'm going to stamp it with permanent ink and color it with my alcohol markers and I will use the matching dies to cut it out. Now this is going to be my focal point and at the same time the little image that is going to pop up with my mechanism. I have a very thin strip of uh, uh, cardstock, white cardstock that I have cut out. This can be an acetate if you like. And I'm going to connect those two pieces together with some double-sided tape. And that's my mechanism. This is where I'm going to stick the whale on the other end. But I'm going to make sure that this is not going to show at any point on uh, at the front of my card. Now I'm going to stick the other end of my mechanism at the fold of the wave. So you can see how this is going to align at the fold. And once you put that in place, you can kind of see how this is going to work. So now I'm going to turn it around and check where this sticks out. I mean, I need to make sure that this doesn't show at all. So I'm going to cover up as much as I need to with my whale, stick the whale there and just chop off the excess. I don't know if it looks complicated, but it really isn't. Once you make one of them, you will see that they come together really easy and also make sure to see the good instructions at the MFT website. Now, all I have to do is to put together the waves with a white card base. For that, I'm using some double-sided tape on the flaps. I'm going to peel off the backing and stick those two pieces together. They should align perfectly. Now here I have everything folded and trying to align it, but uh, here is a good tip. If you lay both those pieces completely flat, like I'm going to end up doing here, you will find that it's super easy to do. And this card is really fun, I can keep on playing with it. So anyway, I'm going to add some finishing touches to it. So I have some splashes that come out of uh, the top of the head of my whale. For that I'm going to make sure that I know exactly where she's going to go. And then stick those splashes at the top. And just next to those splashes I'm going to stop my sentiment. The sentiment comes from the same stamp set as the whale. I'm going to do some double stamping, so first I'm using Salty Ocean and then I'm going to switch to Faded Jeans, which I'm going to apply only at the very base of um, the letter, so I'm touching only the bottom edge. I'm going to stamp that and I will end up having a nombre look on my sentiment. And of course the colors that I used for the sentiment are the same that I used for the ocean. Now all I have to do is to stick this panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and it's going to fit nicely inside an envelope. And although when you open up this card it looks quite dimensional, just like a shadow box and, or one of those diorama cards, you see that inside the envelope it looks completely flat. Once you get the hang of it, and since you have the grass as well, you can create so many different scenes with many different cutouts popping from the pack. It looks very simple, but it's really fun to play with. So here are all the three cards that I made for today. You will find all the links down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired, and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment, to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.